The easiest way to share a Google Meet code is through a hyperlink. That way your students simply click on the link and they're in your Meet. They just have to click Join. In order to do that, we're going to go ahead and create the link inside Google Calendar. I have it opened in a tab here. If I wanted to meet with my students on Thursday, I might be having a math lesson. At this point, it has no time, so I'm going to go ahead and say we're going to meet at 10. Oops, 10 until 11. And in order to create the Google Meet link, I can just click this big blue bar here, add Google Meet video conferencing. And now you can see that I have a Google Meet link code here. So if I click the little down arrow, it opens it up for me. And I'm going to select, oops, <laughs> I'm going to select the Meet code. I'm going to go ahead and copy that over. I can go ahead and I'll hit save here so I know that it's on my calendar ready to go. Open up Google Classroom. I'm in a meet announcement right here, but if I weren't, so I could click to share something with my class. Now, if I shared the link code here, it's not a live link, so I don't want to do that. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and add it down here. I'm going to choose link. I'll paste my link, add it, and now you can see I my students could just click this link right here and pop into the class. So I'm going to tell them we're having a math lesson. And as suggested, we're recommending that you don't share this out until just before your Google Meet time. So I might go ahead and schedule it for Thursday. Now I know my Google Meet is at 10, so maybe I'm going to make this 9.50. So this way, my Google Meet join code will go live at 9.50. I can make sure I'm in at 9.45, and I'll be the first one in. So it allows me to share it out, but it doesn't quite post it yet because I'm not quite ready, and you'll see that's right here in Saved Announcements. And again, it's going out July 11th at 9.50 a.m.